These supercomputers are insane. Billion dollar machines. These are the way of the future. Number 10, Lassen. Lassen was intended to be used in general research without a specific restriction. Its processors can run up to 18.2 million billion calculations each second. Just for the record, this one in particular is being developed periodically to achieve even more operations. Hopefully, it can be classified as the biggest general supercomputer someday. Number 9. Super MUC Lenovo was also a pioneer in the field of supercomputer manufacture. It contributed to the design and implementation of a supercomputer called Super MUC at the Leibniz Supercomputing Center in Garching, near Munich. Intel was a major partner to Lenovo in this supercomputer till finally releasing it to the light. Super MUC could amazingly take the first place in the most powerful supercomputers in the European Union. It can calculate up to 19.5 million billion operations per second. You know what? Germany can not only be into car manufacturing without giving some serious care to supercomputers. Number 8. AI Bridging Cloud Infrastructure when Japan decided to contribute to supercomputers manufacturing, it often revealed an invention as a big surprise in the scientific community. Actually, Fujitsu built a machine away from nuclear and physics research, which is what we usually associate with supercomputers' use. It created something called the AI Bridging Cloud Infrastructure, which can be abbreviated as ABCI. This supercomputer belongs to Japan's National Institute of Advanced Industrial Science and Technology. The main goal for this machine is to work as a cloud-based artificial intelligence resource. In order to achieve that, the ABCI was designed to perform about 19.9 million billion operations each second. Number 7. Trinity. If you were to name your new invention, you would probably find some famous event related to its purpose, and then you would name it after that event. This is exactly what happened with a supercomputer that was named after the first U.S. nuclear test in 1945. This machine was also built by the Cray Corporation. It mainly serves the Los Alamos National Laboratory and Sandia National Laboratory system. Trinity has the power to perform about 20.2 million billion operations per second. Moreover, it's simulating nuclear weapons and is only used in this field. Number six, Pete's Dait. Have you all noticed that Europe is absent in this classification until now? No matter at all. Here Europe appears in the list of top biggest supercomputers ever. As Europe is famous for Alpine mountains, the most powerful supercomputer in Europe was named after one of the mountains that belongs in the Alps in Switzerland. Ladies and gentlemen, please say welcome to Pete's Dait that is located at the Swiss National Supercomputing Center in Lugano. Basically, it's an upgrade for a system built by an American company called Cray. It can perform up to 21.2 million billion operations per second. Thus, the European Research Center has to thank this supercomputer especially in the fields of material science, physics, geophysics, life sciences, climatology, and data science. Number five, frontier. Physics was often one of the most difficult subjects in school for many students. Lots of equations and calculus formulas always made us need a helpful tool to solve them. Moreover, the more we get involved in quantum physics, the greater issues will appear in dealing with complex equations. However, in 2019, a new American supercomputer called Frontier was released to the world. This one was built by Dell and equipped by Intel, which is known for state-of-the-art technology. Since June 2019, Frontier has contributed to several important projects, such as black hole research, quantum mechanics modeling, medical simulations, and even climate modeling. It relies on the performance of 23.5 million billion operations per second. With this super speed, Frontier is so efficient in the domain of physics, energy, properties of matter, and so on with other fields of science, that if I were to name it, I would call it the super physician. Number four, Tianhe 2A. China will remain at the forefront of technology for decades, so there is no doubt that it will try to keep its supercomputers on top of our list today. Besides the Sunway supercomputer, China developed 
Milky Way 2A, or Tianhe 2A. This one specifically was invented by the National University of Defense Technology. Tianhe 2A fills the space of the National Supercomputer Center in Guangzhou, which is about 42,332 square meters. Basically, this supercomputer can afford up to 61.4 million billion operations each second. All the computations are exclusively for government security. That means it's a little bit of a secret supercomputer that hides deep underground. Number three, Sunway Taihu Light. At the dawn of the age of the Summit and Sierra supercomputers in 2018, China started to move forward in that region as well. It worked on a special kind of supercomputer which is called Sunway Taihu Light. It's a machine built by the National Center for Engineering Research and Parallel Computing Technology. This giant supercomputer fills up the space of the National Supercomputing Center in Wuxi. Despite the lack of accelerating chips, Sunway can operate up to 93 million billion operations per second. In addition to that, it contains about 10 million processors to accomplish this super speed performance. One of the greatest purposes of this supercomputer is its use in astronomy research. It contributed to the simulation of the birth and expansion of the universe using 10 billion digital particles. Number two, Sierra. Different needs require different tools. That's why IBM invented another supercomputer, which is considered the second biggest in the world. It's called Sierra. Sierra is located in California's Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory. As it was created for research, IBM intended to make its hardware based on Summit's hardware. However, the complications were noticeably fewer than those that existed in the Summit supercomputer. Sierra is powerful enough to perform over 94.6 million billion operations each second. The main difference here is that Sierra is mainly under the control of military research exclusively. Moreover, as it's widely used to test the effects of nuclear weapons under the ground, all the studies which depend on it are extremely secret and can't be announced to the public for any reason. All that we know is how powerful it is. One more supercomputer is left on this list, but first, stay tuned for our upcoming videos and don't forget to hit the subscribe button and give us thumbs up. And answer this in the comments, how much would you spend on a top of the line computer? And what game would you play on your super powered gaming rig? Or would you mine Bitcoin instead? Number one, Summit. At the beginning of the computer era, the entire device could be fit in a room the size of a giant cupboard and it could do calculations very slowly. In 1946, the IBM 602 could do about 200 operations per second. Even back in 1985, the Cray 2 computer could only do about 1.9 billion floating point operations per second. Today's PlayStation 4 has a console that reaches almost a thousand times more than the Cray 2. Now, how will you react when you see the size of the Summit supercomputer? Just for the record, Summit is considered the biggest and the most powerful supercomputer in the world. It was built by IBM for the U.S. Department of Energy's Oak Ridge National Laboratory in Tennessee. This legendary device is based on an area equal to double the area of two full-size basketball courts. And guess what? it can perform up to 148.6 million billion operations per second. I'm sure you're feeling overwhelmed right now. In order to achieve that tremendous number of operations, Summit includes 2.41 million cores inside it, acting like many hearts beating together. Summit had a vital role in many projects, such as the search for genetic variants in the population related to diseases, the simulation of earthquakes in urban environments, and even the study of extreme climate change. Currently, you can be assured that it's the most powerful computer on Earth. 